What a blessed day once again, my dear friends. For today, I would like to share this topic on the foods to avoid when your creatinine is high. If you have high creatinine, diet alterations must be implemented. As heightened, creatinine levels could be a sign of kidney disease. Avoiding too much protein and adding fiber to your diet can help manage creatinine levels. Creatinine is what forms when the protein is converted into energy through metabolization. When creatine, creatine is broken down, it becomes creatinine, a waste product which your kidney takes out of your blood and excretes through your urine. If you have kidney disease, the amount of creatinine in your blood increases while the level in your urine decreases. If you're experiencing high creatinine symptoms such as nausea and loss of appetite, you may need to alter your diet. Eating large amount of protein such as meat, fish, chicken, eggs, cheese, milk, and yogurt can affect creatinine buildup. Therefore, consuming as too much protein can be detrimental. While protein should be avoided for those on a high creatinine diet, studies have found that fiber should be consumed more regularly. Nutrition with a small sample size of 13 chronic kidney disease patients found that increasing fiber intake in these patients through consuming foods with added fiber can reduce serum creatinine levels. If high creatinine levels lead to kidney failure, there is a list of foods and nutrients you'll need to avoid. Nutrients and substances you may need to limit include water, as too much water can cause swelling, high blood pressure, or overwork your heart. Sodium, which can cause high blood pressure. Some of the foods high and low in sodium are the following. Protein, which can cause creatinine buildup. In general, for chronic kidney disease stages 1 and 2, the current recommendation is to limit dietary protein to no more than 0.8 grams per kilogram of your ideal body weight. So for example, if your ideal weight is 150 pounds or 68 kilograms, your protein needs are 68 kilograms times 0.8 grams per kilogram equals 54 grams of protein or less per day. Eating less red meat and pure fish products may reduce high creatinine levels. A person might try incorporating more sources of vegetable protein, such as beans, in their diet. Phosphorus, as too much can weaken your bones. The Food and Nutrition Board of the Institute of Medicine recommends a diet with 700 mg per day of phosphorus in healthy people and 1,250 mg per day in children and pregnant women. However, a lower intake is recommended in the renal patient to reduce the 12 foods that are particularly high in phosphorus are chicken and turkey, pork, organ meats, seafood, dairy, sunflower and pumpkin seeds, nuts, whole grains, amaranth and quinoa, beans and lentils, soy foods with added phosphates like uh, processed meats, cola beverages, baked goods, fast foods, and convenience foods. Phosphorus 
is an essential nutrient required for bone health and many other bodily functions. It can be found in this food but especially high in animal proteins, dairy products, nuts and seeds, whole grains and legumes. Many processed foods also contain phosphorus from phosphate additives used to prolong shell life or enhance the taste or texture. Artificial phosphates and animal sources of phosphorus are the most absorbable, while plant-based sources can be soaked, sprouted, or fermented to increase the amount of absorbable phosphorus. While phosphorus is good when consumed in moderation, getting too much from artificial additives may be bad for your health. People with kidney disease also need to limit their intake. Understanding which foods are highest in phosphorus can help you manage your intake as needed. Potassium High levels can affect the brain and nerve cells. How much potassium should a person with kidney disease have? It is recommended that healthy men and women over the age of 19 consume at least 3,400 mg and 2,600 mg of potassium per day, respectively. However, people with kidney disease who are in potassium-restricted diet usually need to keep their potassium intake below 2,000 mg per day. Boiling certain foods can lower the amount of potassium in them. For example, potatoes, yam, sweet potatoes, and spinach can be boiled or partially boiled and drained. So here are the foods with high and low potassium for your uh, observation in your diet. Excess creatinine levels can indicate serious medical conditions but also be a temporary byproduct of certain lifestyle factors or conditions. If your healthcare provider finds that your creatinine levels are high, change to your activity levels and eating, drinking, and supplementation habits may help reduce them. That's all for today and see you in my next vlog. God bless you all. Hi! Thank you for watching my vlog. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification below. For more updates and for more upcoming videos, see me in my next vlog. God bless you all.